hello guys welcome back so in this video we are going to learn layouts in jepa compose and how to use them to reflect your ui design needs so without further ado let's get started so there are several layout composable which helps in structuring your ui uh, including row column box and constraints layout composables so in this video we'll focus on box column and row and in the next videos we'll speak about other layouts including the constraint layouts so if you are not going to define a layout so the ui elements will be positioned in the way which you do not expect now for example if we navigate here to this greeting here so we have here our default preview a place where we can preview our composables so for example here we can duplicate this here greetings and instead here we can just pass in jetpack compose now let's tr try here to see our design you can just press this refresh button here to refresh and see the outputs so as you can see here our views are going to be stacked on top of each other and this way we don't want so we can just solve this by using the layouts so we can just jump inside here our code and we can create here a new composable so let's create a little room here and now we can create here a new composable so for example this one we are going to call this my column so a column composable displays its children in a vertically sequenced format and we can use several parameters here to define the position of its children so we can try to use here a column so we can just write here a column and here we can pass in several parameters which we can use to structure or position the child here and we are going to use a, surf a surface here in order to demonstrate this so we can just create here a surface and we can pass in here a modifier and we can provide a width of 100 dp and also we can provide a height of 100 dp now also here we can define the shape which we want here now for our case here we can just pass in the material theme we can use this material theme dot shapes and we can use a medium shape here so you can easily define here different shapes so we are going to see here how we can use our custom shapes which we want and here for example we are going to pass in the color and here we are going just to pass in the color red now for this case here we have our first surface here now when we want also we can just duplicate these surfaces here okay so basically here we have three surfaces which are going to be arranged in a vertically sequenced format so we can just change the color here for example here we can pass in green and here we can just pass in to be a blue colored so for this case here we have our co our column so we can try to preview here our column and see them in a split mode view so we can just come here below this default preview so you can have a lot of previews wherever you want to display your composables from a single composable to the whole screen so we can just write here prev and here for example we are just going to define our preview function okay now we can just come here to split view and also it's going to render the views okay so now here we have our preview and we can just try to remove this and as you can see here it's just displaying this a little bigger so what we can just try to do here we can just come here to our preview so for example here we can just add the show background color and we can set this to true okay so basically here we are setting the background to be true and also we can try to preview the system ui and we can set this to true and when we come here to split mode you can see the ui inside here for example a phone and as you can see here we have here our composables and these composables will be just directly kept from the left side corner here so they are going to be structured to the start here by default now if you want to change this for example to move from this position here to another position or to move to the end here you can just try to use the properties so that you can just define so we can come here to our column composables here and what we can do here so there are several parameters inside here which you can use to structure your your column so for example there is the horizontal horizontal alignment so inside here horizontal alignment there are several ways which you can try to align this we can set this to be centered horizontally and now let's try to re preview here our views and we can try to rebuild here to see 
Okay, now you can see here the views are going to be positioned on the center here by using these properties which we have been defined we are going to define here and also we can just use the vertical arrangement so here for example also we can just arrange this vertically so by this case here as you can see here it's going to be aligned to the top so we have moved it to the center so if you want to also center this we can try to use the vertical arrangement here for example and we can use here the arrangement and here vertically it's going to be centered vertically so when also we come here and try to rebuild this and preview and now you can see here we have just aligned it to the center and for this case here we can see that these compo composables when we define these properties they are going to move all of them so if what if you want to move individually so this for example we want to move this to the left and this one we want to move it to the right so what we can try to do here we can just come here and we can pass in a modifier so we have already defined a modifier for example here inside this modifier align and basically here we can easily align this differently from other composables so for example here we want to align this to the end so we can just pass in here the alignment and here we want to align this to the end and also we want this the green one to be aligned to the right so also we can just come here and we can pass in here the align function now let's come here to also preview and we can rebuild again to see the outputs okay now as you can see here we are going to move this differently and here basically we are just aligning these layouts here in a a column but we are going to use the modifier in order to align these children differently so if you could have a ui which you want to align them differently you just use a alignment function inside the modifier here and as you can see here the column here is going to create a composition so a composition is just a ui tree where it's going to define all of the composable function so for our case here we have three composable function these surfaces here so first and foremost this column is going to call the child here to measure themselves so that it going to measure itself so by default this one is going to wrap the contents of its children and to change the behavior for example here we want to change the behavior of this column to make up or to take up the whole screen what we can try to do here now we can just pass in a modifier And we can use this fill max size and basically here now we are going to fill up the whole size of this screen here which we are going to take it from this column composables okay so this is the way which you can use co column composable to structure your layouts now when we come here to code let's see how we can use the row and this column composable has specific things which are only used inside the column so if we are going to define here a row for example let's just create a little room here and we can create another composable now here we can create our row composable so we can just write here row and we can use this row composable function here and also with the row composable function it accepts several parameters which you can use to structure the children and for our case here let's just reuse this which we have been defining here so we are just going to copy these surfaces and we can just come here to our row and we can just paste them and as you can see here we are getting an error and because this align here so this modifier is going to be only used inside the column so if you try to use it outside the column you are just going to get an error so what we can just do we can just remove this okay now let's create a preview function which you can preview our row and as you can see here we have our row scope and here down here we had the the column scope so let's just come here down below and create another preview function and here we can just call my row my row preview so as you can see here our row is going to be arranged in a horizontal sequenced format here and also here we can just try to make this also to show the system ui so we can just come here to code and we can change this preview we can show we can set here show system ui And now as you can see here also this one is going to be positioned on the top left corner here and this is default by all composables which we are going to use them so by default they are going to be arranged here and as you can see here now this they are just compact together so what if you want to create or to distribute this space evenly so for example the space on horizontal case here you want to distribute them evenly and in order to do this so this column composable is just the size of all of its children and for this case we must make it to 
fill the max size so that we can distribute the space evenly. So we can just come here to code and we can come to our row composable where we have defined our row. So first thing here we have to make this fill max width. So we can just pass in here a modifier and we can fill the max width. And now here we can use the horizontal arrangement and here the horizontal arrangement also has several things. So as you can see here the arrangement, we have the arrangement center space evenly space between and other these ways which you can use to space them. So for our case we want to space evenly our composables. So let's just pass in here space evenly and when also we come here, we come to our row composable, let's try to rebuild here and see. So now as you can see here we have spaced them evenly. So the space from here to here and here and here they are just equal. So you can just use these parameters in order to define the space between the composables. So for this case here we have just spaced them evenly. And also here we have the specific ways which you can use for example to align the children here. So for example if we want to provide a weight. So a weight is going to measure for example here when we remove this width here. And we want to provide a weight of 1F for example here. So this one is going to take up the width. So now as you have seen here, so this one is going to take up the width. Uh, we have not defined the width here, but it has taken here the, we have used the weight composable function here in order to define the property here and define the UI behavior. So for this case, we can just return to our normal case here and these weights and other things they are just going to be specific to a row scope as we have defined here for our case. So you can just try to experiment with these row and column composables so that you can get your desired output. So what we want to do right now here we want to try to combine the row and also to combine the column. So we want to create a certain layout which is going to show us like a draft. So for our case here we have already defined this row composable here and we can try to reuse our own composable which we have already defined. So now for our case here we can just delete these surfaces here inside our column because we don't want them anymore and what we can do now we can just call here my row and this is just good in composables which we can try to reuse the composable which you have created. So for our case here we can just press ctrl d for example three times here and when we come here to split view Let's try to relearn again and see the output. So now here we have our column preview. And as you can see here now we have added three composables. And because we define this to be on the center, they are going to be here to the center. And they are just stuck on top of each other. So for example, if you want to create here a space between this or a padding, for example, here we can just come to our code. And also as we have done with the row composable, we can just do it with the column. So for example, here now we want to arrange this. So for example, we want to space this by certain space which we want. So for example, here there is a way we can use this space by. And here basically we want to provide a spacing option for our composables. So for our case here, we want for example to be spaced by 20 dp. So if you want for example a custom way which you can use to show your previews. Okay, now here you can see here our composables now they have been defined here by using our spacing which we have defined. So for example, you have said to be spaced by 20 dp and all of these composables are just spaced by 20 dp. Now we can try to use here for example inside our code, make this to space around. And we don't want this horizontal arrangement so that it can just structure itself here. And here we can just fill the max size which we have defined. And now let's try to rebuild here and you can see the difference. Okay, now here you can see that the views are going to be arranged space between. So the space from here and here they are just equal. And here this space here is just going to be two times the space which has been provided here. So the space here is going to be two times the space here and the space here is just two times the space here. So for our case here, this is just a way which you can try to combine the row and the and the column. And also we can just try to, for example, to combine the other way which we can use a box. 
So a box is just different from the column and row for basically the box is going to stack the children on top of each other. So if we want to define here, for example, a, another shape inside this box here, we want to make it, for example, to the center of this box here, we have to use the, the box column composable. So we can just come here to our row, a place where we have defined our row. So we have here our surface. Now, for example, here we want to use this we can just copy, we can just cut it and create here a box column. So you can just reuse wherever you want. And basically here now we can just pass in here our surface. And the first thing inside the box is going to be just pressed below or it's going to be underneath the second composable, which is going to be rendered on top of this. So if we write here another thing, which this is going to be kept on front of the surface. So you want to create here another surface for example, here we can just duplicate this. And this surface, for example, we can just make it 50 dp. And instead of using this material theme here, we can just use the circular shape. And basically here we are going to have a perfect cycle. And for this case here, this one is going to be displayed on top of this one. And we can just come here to split view and we can try to rebuild. So as you can see here, it's not showing here because we have not differentiated the color. And as you can see, this one is going to be positioned on the top left corner here, if you can see this preview box here. So let's come here to our code and we can change this color, for example, here to white. And basically here, as we have seen inside our column and row, we can just pass in the properties here in order to just change the behavior of its children. And basically here we just have one thing which we can pass. And this one is just called the content alignment. And here we can just pass in the center. And the good thing about this, we have to define only one property here in order to make this to the center. But with using a row or a column, you have to use the vertical and horizontal arrangement in order to center something. Let's just come here to our preview and rebuild and see again. Okay, now here our cycle is going to be positioned at the center of this box here. And as you can see here, our box is just defining this box inside here, which we have defined our surface. As you can see here, we have our surface. So if we try to... And also we can just increase our room here. Now, as you can see here, this col column composable is just going to be this box inside here. And it's just defining this position here. So you can use this and nest your UI element, whatever you want, because Jetpack Compose uses one pass measurement system where it's going just to measure the children once and then it's going to draw them. Instead, like measuring it twice. And for this case here, you can just nest it wherever you want. But if you want to have a flat, UI, for example, you can just use the constraint layouts and it's just out of scope of this video. So in the next videos, we are going just to speak about the constraint layouts and how you can just make it, for example, create the same UI without nesting the row and column composables and other things. So guys, this is the way which you can use just the basic building blocks, the row, column, and the box to create a complex UI element. So in this video, let's just leave it here. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to provide a like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.